Now once you've done that what we're going to do is we're going to create the glow on the actual butterfly itself. So what we need to do is we need to install the sparkle brush set that actually came with the um, which you downloaded and to do that you want to go to the actual brush and you want to go to this drop down menu and you want to go to this little arrow that's pointing to the right and then select load brushes. Now once you've done that you select the actual brush set that you want or wherever you saved it and then it'll probably either come up OK or append. I think you want to click OK because otherwise you might lose all your brushes at the time. And then we're going to scroll all the way down. And then you want to go and select the 42 uh, brush in that set. Now, once you've selected that, we're going to go and change the size to 1600. The hardness is going to be on default, so you don't need to change that. The opacity is going to be 100%, so let's change that. And the flow is going to be kept at 100%. We're going to go and create a new blank layer, and we're going to go and name that Magic 1. We're going to go and change our color, and the color code is going to be D5 ED FF, and then click OK. And then we're just going to go and press it onto the butterfly itself. So you've got this really nice glow. Then we're going to go and make a, another blank layer, and we're going to name this Magic 2. Make sure you got that selected. We're going to go and change the color again, and the color code for this one is going to be D5F um, 5FF, and then click OK. Now we're going to go to the brush. We're going to go to the drop-down menu. We're going to go all the way up to the top because we want to go and select a soft brush. This one right here. And we're going to go and drop the size down to 800 and then hide that away. And then we're just going to go and click. Uh, before we do that, we're going to go and change the opacity down to 50, sorry, and then go and click that onto the butterfly. Now, once you've done that, we're going to go and make another blank layer and we're going to name this Magic Free. And then we're going to go and change the color. And the color code for this one is going to be E6F um, 9FF. And then click OK for that one. I'm going to go to the brush, brush size. And this one is going to be 1600 in size. The hardness is going to be 0. The opacity is going to be 25, so let's change that one. Flow is going to be set to 100, and then click on the butterfly again. Now, once we've done that, we're going to go and make a new blank layer. Name that Magic 4. Now, what we need to do now is we need to actually uh, get another brush set. But the only problem with the written tutorial is it actually doesn't give you the brush set that it actually indicates. Now the brush set is called Space Brushes, well Crash Space Brushes, but the only problem is it doesn't actually give you them. So if you need them, I'll give you the link to the download, or you can download the whole source pack from my website, and that's in the link in the description bar. Now once you've downloaded them and installed them into Photoshop, we're going to go on to the next part. Now once you've got them all loaded, we're going to go to our brush and our brush panel. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom and it should be the brush that is set to 615. So it's this one right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change the, actually no, we're going to keep the size, sorry. The uh, hardest is going to be on default 
Now, the only thing we need to change is the opacity. So let's set that to 100. Hang on a minute. There we go. And then we're going to go and change the color. And the color code for this one, um, if you didn't already get it, it's E6F9FF, which is the same as the other one. Just saying it again, just in case you changed something. And then click OK. Now, what you have to do for this is you need to make, to go up in an upwards motion and then curved to the left and then upwards again. So start from the middle of the actual butterfly. and like that and then we're going to go and do the same again uh, so it's going to go in a curve to the right and then we're going to go and do the same again curve to the left now if you don't know what i'm on about you can have a look on the actual um, written tutorial it will tell you the angles that you actually need to paint in so once you have done that we're going to go and double click that layer to bring up the layer style now this one here is we're going to go to the blending options and we're going to keep the same then we're going to go to outer glow now the only things that we do need to change in this is the elements bit so the technique is going to be softer the spread is going to be zero, but the size is going to be 30. Now, once you've done that, we're going to go and click OK. We don't need to change anything else. And then we're going to go and create a new blank layer. And we're going to call this Magic 5. And we're going to go and change our color. Now, this color is going to be E2F. Um, BFF and then go and click OK we're going to go to our brush we're going to go and select a soft brush at the top we're going to go and change our size we're going to start off at 20 and we want to increase to 60 so you're going to make like little glowing orbs of light so you want to increase your size of the brush every time you click. So done that. The hardness is going to be set to zero. The opacity is going to be 100 and the flow is going to be 100. And then we're just going to go and click. Click places. And then we're going to go and increase. Again. And... like that now once you've done that we're going to go and create a new blank layer sorry I created two new blank layers there and I'm going to name that one magic six and then we're going to go and change the size of the brush so let's go up to there and we're going to put the size of the brush to 900 hue zero sorry not hue hardness zero the uh, opacity 100 and the flow 100 as well and then we're going to drop down that and then we're just going to go and click on the butterfly or just above it And then what we're going to do is we're going to go and bring the opacity on that layer down. Just something just there. Now it doesn't say that in the actual tutorial but I just think um, it gives it more of an effect and I quite like it that way. 
So once you've done that, we're going to go and group all of these layers. So we're going to go hold down control and click on every single one of them. Then we're going to go and click control and G to group them. And we're going to go and name this one and it's going to be called Magical Light. Now once you've done that, it's on to the next step.